In this first clip, you are going to be watching this Karen get schooled about the statement she made of black people being notorious on how they name their children. Do you think she learned anything from this interaction? You be the judge. Take a look at this. But black people are notorious for naming their children 25 letter names that they're never going to get even pronounced right, let alone spelled right. Like, why would you do that? Over there. Do you know why they actually do that? The reason no. for that is, is because it? during slavery, their, their identities were taken away. So they had to have unique names in order to identify their offspring when they were sold from different plantations. So that came down generationally as generational trauma. Okay, well, how about now? Isn't that sort of trauma for that poor kid that's never going to have his name spelled right? Only to your standards. I'm like, like what is? Wife, if I were that child, I wouldn't want my name misspelled all the way through or mispronounced by people. Well, that's because for, people like, can't take the time to pronounce it correctly. Whatever. You can say the supercalifragilistic espialidocious, but you can't say Jaquan. Preachy girl. Okay, whatever the result is, the poor child does not have his name pronounced correctly or spelled correctly because people. Do not take the time. You can okay, take the extra the... two seconds to do it, but instead you're sitting here making fun of a whole culture of people for things that they didn't have have a, a choice on. Do you have a name that gets misspelled a lot? I sure don't. Well, because my don't mom whitewashed my name. So that's racist. It's so obvious that this Karen do not care for the kids the way she's claiming to. And also, I learned a long time ago that if people don't take the time to pronounce your name correctly they don't care about you i've got a question for you do you have to sign anything for a contract to exist or for the contract to be legally enforced in this next clip you are going to be watching a customer who puts down a thousand dollars deposit on a truck without signing any documents take a look at this how do you sell a, how do you sell a truck with somebody else's money on a deposit okay you did not sign anything for that automobile there, i did not, too i signed the work order you you did not buy that truck there's nothing that has you as so, owner that so when i when i gave you my thousand dollars and you took my thousand dollars that that's not a deal what is that and then when you come in and you say no I no not. no let's right. let's say what is that what is that that is us agreeing to terms so we agreed to terms you took my money yep we agreed to the terms yep and and then, when you and then, then you, then you, then you, then you get to decide. Don't you raise get your voice a, with me. Don't you raise your voice with me. You get to decide. Yes, I do. And how does that work? What's your name? My name's Kurt Spencer. Kurt Spencer with National Auto Plaza. Yep. Okay, Kurt Spencer with National Auto Plaza. How does that work when somebody gives you a deposit like that? How do you, how do we do that? What's what is the we ethical agree. thing okay, to do first here? Off, lower your voice. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, sir. What's the ethical thing to do? Okay, what the eth ethical thing to do is, is we agreed to terms. You came in here. You decided you're like, I want to think about things. And I told you yesterday. I said no. No, you didn't tell me yesterday. I, I wasn't even yesterday. here yesterday. Sorry, I was here me. Saturday. Excuse me, Saturday. And when we left... We were going to call you. We the deal was never not done. The deal the, the deal was I, I was going to look. Have, you did you did listen, shitty work, and we, I know it. And you listen, know. It. Here's the deal. I so, have just as much opportunity to say no to doing business with you. Do as doing. Not business if you too. have my money, sir. If you have I a deposit, you, sir. You we were refunding. You, your, okay, but you didn't refund it. Josh, will you please make sure that his. his you did not refund it. And you, Miss, what's your name? Josh. Josh. All right, Josh. Did we not have a deal? Put a deposit down. I put a deposit down on a vehicle. And so when you put a deposit down there, Mr. Salesman, what's your name? Trace. Trace. But when you so I, here, all you three of you, all three of you, all three of you know that I put the deposit down. We gave you the and then you don't honor your deal. We you gave, don't honor your deal. We gave you the opportunity. You don't honor your deal. Okay, Is I'm that done, true? I'm done talking with you. FYI, the customer got his deposit back. But do you think... The dealership should have honored that transaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. In this upcoming clip, you're going to be watching an altercation between a customer at KFC 
and one of their female employees, you will not believe the hell that broke loose at that location. Take a look at this. Give me my money back, and can then you, he'll pay for it. Can you read what they say? Did you hear what I said? Can you read what they say? Tell me what they said. Did you hear what I just said? Give me my money back. I don't do refunds. Ma'am. No, you got no refund. I don't, I don't want no rap. They That's make the your best for it. Right. No, That's what's hung up. Did That's I ask for a rap? Receipt. Did I ask for a rap? You Did I ask for a rap? Did I ask for a rap? They don't know what you asked for. Ma'am, I told you I want $2,000 back. You don't want to give me Two legs in his box. Okay, look, when you came up, he rung me up for that. You said, okay. he said, it's not right. Hey, listen, I did not say no rap. Excuse me. What you're not gonna do is come in here with the attitude. Okay, well, give me You asked for what you, I'm not giving you nothing back. We do not do refunds. Once your order is total, please out. give me my money. Wait, 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 wait. Can you read what it say? Now, please please give me my money back. Can you just give me this food? No. I'm giving what you paid for. Okay. You ready to order love? That's not what I asked right. for. What did I ask for? When you came up here, what you did I say? Okay, he's the one that said rap. I said didn't say no rap. Okay. okay. I'm give him two pieces. Okay. Okay, okay you gonna take the rap. What can I get for you, sir? You keep on getting in my face like that. I'm not your dog. No, 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 no. You're not finna hit women, bro. I will call the police. You're not finna I don't care who you are. I want my money, man. I want to see you knock me out, baby. Okay, Al. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? I need you to go. Yeah, he needs to go. Yeah, he needs to go. He's ready, boy. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, go. You like this goddamn job? You ain't gonna talk to me. Come on, give us a rap. We don't want to give us a rap. I give you what you pay for, sir. Okay, give us a good. 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 In this next clip, a customer was refused service at a fast food restaurant's drive through because he was recording one of the employees. Take a look at their interactions. Why can't you take my order? Why? Ma'am, you, you paid for your food already. You have no right to record me. Why can't you take Sir, my order? The line. What? You doing too much. Bye. Hey, listen. You have to go inside. They're going to take cars. But they're not open inside. inside so I went I went through a drive through uh -huh. but they're not even paying me no mind. So I just want to know why. And you see how violent they get? I don't know why the door. You have your food already, ma'am? Sir, you cannot put that in my don't face. Don't be touching me. Move. I'll get you for charge of assault. I don't care. Assault. Move. Listen. Get that camera I out just of my face. Know. I don't care. I just want to know. What are you waiting for, ma'am? Yeah, I, I just want to know. Not, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Are you care. the manager? Yeah. You're the manager? What's your name? Watch out. Yeah, out. go ahead, man. Please. Let me speak to the manager. How you doing? You're the manager? The window. 2973. Well, Sir, well, you, you cannot try to grab my phone. Move. You cannot try to grab my phone. Matt, move. Like, for real. He getting on my nerves. Hey, listen. He I just. So close to the window with the phone in my face. Like, move. I just want to know. Damn, move. I want to know. You got the phone right in my face. Why can't I order food? First of all, was the employee wearing a mask? Ma'am, you have no right to record me. You have no right to record me. Ma'am, 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 you have no right let me know in the comment section. Y'all won't believe this. This lady peed in a cup at Disneyland. And when she was confronted about it and was asked to leave, she had a major meltdown. Take a look at this. I'm a bad bladder. 
I don't think you understand what women's bladders are all about, but I don't really have a bad bladder. Okay. And there's no reason for you to justify me or judge me. I am not judging you, ma'am. You are, sir. No, I'm not. Tom. I'm not judging you. Can I'm you here please to be your manager? Because it's I am okay. the manager. Somebody I hire up, sir. What? I'm asking you to leave property for your actions and behavior. Not a problem, Tom. But I needed a urinate. And I needed a pee on my... There's been times where I have to hold a cup for my job, Tom. I am, a, I am a teacher, a speech therapist, sir. I literally have to urinate in a cup. Because I don't have time to go to South Central on Slauson and Crenshaw to urinate, sir. I cannot believe you're judging me. I'm not judging you. No problem. It's okay. I will leave, but I'm telling my family member what's okay. happening here. Okay. And they can meet me at the parking lot okay. because there is a commute time. Okay. It's literally an hour to drive to the valley, Tom. Okay, what? I'm okay, what? It sounds like you're your just, just saying okay, yes, but I need a I'm manager. I'm saying okay. You I went talk. to Alani, to Hawaii in April, Tom. I pay for your paycheck, sir. Everybody else is here. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Just so you know, I'm not a, like, freeloader. I never said that. I'm just putting it out there. So I'll give you time to discuss the parking arrangement. Thank you, sir. Unfortunately, I can't. I will. To I will leave. No, thank you, Tom. Come on, Karen. There's so many bathrooms there. Like what? And I believe the longest you would have to wait for a bathroom at Disney is three minutes. Oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. This is really, really, really sad. In this next clip, you are going to be watching this elderly lady abuse her caregiver. Take a look. Give me the knife. Hmm? Give me the knife. I'll give it to you in the, in the back of you. In the back. That's what I'll do. There, I'll give it to you. Or maybe in the front. I'll have to think A few moments later. I'm recording everything you're doing. I'll send it to your daughter. So keep doing that. Get out of here. Get out of my house. Okay, keep doing that. Get out of my house. Keep doing it. Get out of my house. Now, get out. Get out. I'm not afraid of you. No. Stop it. No. Stop. No. No. 
You know what no means? I guess you don't. You put it on your head. I will not stop it. I will not. I will not. You know what that means? That means not. Means no. Stop! No. No. Twenty minutes later. That's the kind of fire you like. Thinking rotten, rotten fire, just like you. And you're a liar, and a thief, and an actress, an actress too. I'm sure we all know who the actress is here. Unbelievable. Keep watching. Really sad that this caregiver was treated this way. I hope, I hope and I pray that she lived this horrible situation. Unbelievable. Finally, on this interesting and very sad episode of Karen's Behaving Badly, we've got another Karen.
just doing exactly what she knows best. Take a look. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Say it again. Wow. Wow. What is a good book? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Yeah, wow. You want war. I want peace. Shut up. You shut up. Founding forefathers. Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> you don't tell me to shut up. Uh, it's freedom of speech. I can talk. I can walk. I can do anything. How I many want. beers it's have you had? I don't go on your property. If you watched this video to this point, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Go home, Karen. It's not that deep.